Dennis Prager for 18 years taught the Torah verse by verse at the University of Judaism and you can get his tapes at DennisPrager.com they're absolutely worth purchasing. Uh, I was listening to his seventh lecture on the book of Genesis back in 1992 and uh, he makes the point that the land of Israel is where it's at for the Jews. This is what God intended for the Jews to build a holy society and you can only build a holy society in a particular place. Judaism is profoundly physical it is the most corporeal religion of the monotheist religions. It is bound to land, bound to people, bound to family, bound to law. It is not primarily a metaphysical religion. It is primarily a physical religion. It has metaphysical elements, but the religion is uniquely physical in its emphasis. The mitzvot, the commandments, the very core of Judaism are physical laws of Judaism are physical. You'll take this meat and you'll eat this way and you'll slaughter this way. you take this branch of palm and you'll take this etrog and you'll wash your hands this way. You'll wear fringes on your garment. You'll go three times a year up the mountain to Jerusalem to bring sacrifices. So why do we need such a physical religion? Because we live in a physical world. If you don't invest the physical with holiness, if you separate holiness and the physical, then you'll have a bad world. I think a lot of... Uh, Hellenic influenced religion such as Christianity kind of separates the well there's the really holy spiritual other world then there's this fallen world. Well the purpose of Judaism is to sanctify the non-sanctified is to raise up this so-called fallen world to sanctify the physical which is not sacred you make the land sacred after all the land was lived on by the Jebusites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and others and it wasn't sacred you have to make it sacred. So a lot of people who talk about Judaism today, they spiritualize it much more than it is and they talk about the spiritual lessons behind many of the commandments and the rituals and the practices. Judaism is filled with the spiritual but is not just spiritual. That's why many Christians see it as a lower form of religiosity because it's preoccupied by the physical, the concrete, the particular place, the here and now. Uh, Jesus in the book of Matthew is reputed to a servant it's not what goes into your mouth that matters, but what comes out. Well, Judaism holds that it's very important what goes into your mouth and what comes out, that both are equally important. So God's saying, this is the land I give you, the land over which the battle for humanity will take place. And that's Judaism. The Jew embodies this attitude, or is supposed to. That's why the Torah does not talk about the next world. Well, what, happen what happens after you die is a major theme in the New Testament and in the Quran, but Judaism is the most this worldly centered of the world's religions. Great stuff from Dennis Prager.